Well, hey, here we are looking at uh, some more physics problems together. I'm looking at uh, this one over here about, <clears throat> it says here that this equation says speed is wavelength times frequency, doesn't it, right there? And it says that, um, well, obviously, if it's a higher frequency, then the speed is larger. So the question is, if it takes Jack White's sweet A440 1.0 seconds to reach you from the stage at Bonnaroo, Bonnaroo! How long does it take for his piercing next octave up A to get inside your loving ears? And, and, how can you possibly enjoy the same song as someone who is twice as far away from the speakers? If the notes don't go the same speed. So then, <clears throat> the next question is a kind of a post-apocalyptic scenario that I'll paint for you here. There was a virus, and uh, there are not a lot of... Um, uh, <laughs> okay, so it's a bit of a stretch, but there are not a lot of light bulbs anymore, and you are running light bulbs uh, on the clandestine, and um, you have no right eye, and your family is also dead. You are standing six meters, though, from a contraband 60-watt incandescent light bulb, you know, the kind that we grew up with, the kind that pops over your head when you have a good idea. Um, it's, it's not a compact fluorescent, and it's not an LED. Uh, it's a uh, Thomas Edison right there. How many joules of light energy are entering your left pupil in one second? So that's the question. How many joules of energy enter your left pupil, the only remaining pupil, in one second? And I gave you the diameter, which is kind of annoying because you'd probably prefer the, the radius, but you're not gonna get it. So just pay attention to that. Sometimes you get diameters and that sucks. But there it is. Okay, so Shinya described the energy of a wave as one half k times the a squared. That's not an area, it's an amplitude, right? So I guess I want to know what happens to the energy of a wave when two wave pulses destructively interfere. So I'm speaking particularly about like a wave pulse that looks like this and a wave pulse that looks like this. Pretend those have the same amplitude and they are going to crash into one another, and at the moment that they crash, I'll just get you led in right here. At the moment that they crash, the, um, the rope is flat. So, what? Because if energy is that, then it's gone for a moment. But then it's back again. That makes me very uncomfortable. I hope it also makes you very uncomfortable. Try to figure out what's going on with the energy during that instant. And then, uh, well, 17.4 has the word erstwhile in it, so it's one of my favorite problems ever. You thought that this was going to work out. Uh, I suppose it's better than um, going ahead and getting married and then having trouble, but this is still a sad thing, because you bought a fancy ring, but she's throwing it around, and uh, there's something to do with that diamond, something really neat about that diamond. Light goes slower in the diamond. And so the question is, what happens to the frequency and the wavelength if the speed changes? And what are you going to do now? Shave your beard, that's one thing. Um, as two identical wave pulses go through one another, this is a particularly hard problem, um, is the resulting amplitude 2A or scrut 2A? One of them makes sense in terms of superposition. So I'm thinking, here's a pulse, and here's another pulse. Whoa, gross. And they are going towards one another. And I want to know how high the resulting pulse is when the center of this one is the same location as the center of that one. That'll probably happen right in the middle right there. And so something's going on here. I just need to know if it's two times the amplitude of one of them or screw two times the amplitude of one of them. Superposition seems pretty reasonable, right? Because you get cancellation, negative and positives, adds up nice and cleanly. But it doesn't conserve energy because Sheeny told us that the energy of a wave is proportional to the square of the amplitude. So this is really tricky. Good luck.